Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'm going to go to a country again which I've not been to for quite some time and that is France and I'm going to take a look at one of their RCIR 24 hour rations. Now this particular one is the menu 3 and it expired just a month ago so hopefully it should still be good. So let's get this on a table and see what this pack contains. So as you can see and I have here on the table this French 24 hour ration. Uh, this particular one is the menu 3 and it's just recently expired on December 2020 but hopefully you think it's still okay. It does have a list of contents already so this should have a lamb stew and vegetables, a poultry tabule and some sardine fillets along with a load of other items. So, as we know by now, the French 24 hour packs come in a sturdy cob or box with a simple cellophane wrapping. So we'll just get the wrapping off there, bring in trusty friends. And the box just has a very simple little tear tab on the side here to open. So we'll take it off both sides, see if it actually works. not going so well there we go so with a little bit of suasion it actually opens up nicely so nice impressive set of contents this is a 24 hour pack so let's see what we get in the French menu 3 RCIR now straight off the top we have a pack of biscuits variety so there is some sweet some salt and some cereal biscuits there so a nice selection of different biscuits or crackers we have a muesli uh, mix, breakfast muesli mix. I believe this is one of their soups. We'll do a full translation obviously when we come to actually eat them. There is a little accessory pack containing some drinking chocolate and some coffees and I believe there's whiteners and sugars in there. Again we should have a little closer look when we get these out properly. I think that might be a cheese, cheese spread, little kind of cheese spread. I'm sure fromage is cheese, my French is very bad, but obviously we will do the translate. These must be the sardine fillets, and it looks like they're in olive oil, so sardines in oil. Um, one of the first mains off the top, this must be the poultry tabouleté, tabouleté, not quite sure. How to pronounce that, but it's one of the large mains. There is the second mains. This is the stew. Looking at the picture there, so that looks very nice looking stew. Keep going. We have an isotonic sports drink mix. We have a pate de fruits, apricot um, jelly bar. There is a strawberry jam. This is another, looks like it's an apricot energy bar, apricot energy bar. First time I've seen one of those personally. Be interesting to find out what they're like. We have a nugget or nougat, depending on where in the world you're from, is the pronunciation. There is a nice little chocolate bar. I don't know if we can get those on there. Still going. There is another energy bar. So plenty of little energy packs there, a packet of TP or tissues for whichever the need first arises and also the stove and heating kit, just a little metal stove and some Esbit style heating tabs. So this is the contents of this French menu 3 24 hour ration. So let's get these out on a tray and we'll come back with what I would consider breakfast. 
So, as you can see, I now have here laid out on the tray this, what I would consider breakfast from this French RCI art menu number three. And I thought for breakfast, I should be having the muesli. So this is the berry muesli with strawberries. I'm going to need a coffee, so I've got to have a look at the accessory pack. There is a mango drinks tea. There is a fruit bar orange and I thought we'd have some sweet biscuits and jam so keeping it a sweet theme for breakfast so first off I think I need to have a look at this accessory pack and find out exactly what's in there I can see the coffees that is what I'm looking for so bring in a little friend to carefully open the pack it's very close to the ingredients it's very close to the content sorry it easily puncture if you're not careful so what have we got inside this little accessory pack? So straight off, we have two instant coffees. I should be needing one of those. We have a tea, a Ceylon tea. We have a, another tea. I think this is a mint tea. A mint tea. We have sugar. two sugars, we have salt and pepper, two of each of those, so salt and pepper, and looks like last but not least, we have some hot chocolate, or drinking chocolate, so for this particular meal, I'm just going to keep one of the coffees, let's just see if I can separate those without splitting the bag, so it's always good to keep one of the coffees back if I'm not going to use it. I use it on my camping trips, so they separated nicely. So I'll need a coffee and a sugar. There's no white enough, so I'll just move the rest out of the way for now. I don't think I'm going to need salt and pepper for muesli, so I can get rid of the salt and peppers. So let's let's crack on. So we start off by having a look at the coffee. This is the SRD brand, um, Fair Trade Coffee, and we'll just have a look at that. So that's a medium brown colour. So it's a medium looking roasting colour, large granules, and we'll just have these feels like there's two spoons of sugar. So half of one of these will do for my personal taste. So. Oh, actually, let's give it the lot. There's no, there's no white knot, so it's going to need something to give it a pick me up. And as always, bring in my trusty USMRE spoon. We'll just give this just over half a cup. As I say, these are always smallish sachets. Give it its best chance. I always like to give everything its best chance. Then, if it's terrible. You, you know it's just terrible whatever you do so it's a, a medium dark it looks quite a dark dark roast now okay so we'll move on next one I think is we'll take a look at this mango flavored tea the ice con tonic drinks powder and again I'm just pour it into the glass nice smell of mango there it's dark in color tea color so it's like an iced tea, mango flavour. And this time we'll bring in the cold water. I suppose you could have it with hot, make it a hot mango flavoured tea, but we'll go cold, an iced tea style drink. Those sugars are taking some time to dissolve. There's quite a lot of sugar in the pack there. And moving along, we'll take a look at this pate de fruits, and it's this apricot. So this is just like a little jelly bar. I've seen these before. A sugar-coated jelly bar. So I'm going for a sugar-rich breakfast. Wake you up, give you the energy. Likewise, we've got the famous three packs of biscuits. Um, salt, cereal, and chocolate. Because um, I'm going to have them with jam, I think I shall go with the chocolate ones. So let's just see what we've got in here. 24 hour pack, you get the nice 
large large one and they have three packets of each so that's the salt that's the cereal and the chocolate on the hen there so we just have one pack for now so there is lots six of each variety just move those out of the way and let's have a pack open oh, being my friend it feels like they're all broken quite a lot of damage there don't know how that happened they're in quite a sturdy box but there we go and of course a little bit of the strawberry jam strawberry jam obviously can go into the muesli as well and sweeten it up very very tough package there didn't want to go through the seam and it looks like I've still missed it so we'll bring the knife back and have another go so, and strawberry jam last but not least we'll take a look at the muesli with fruit it says fruit is that uh, strawberries and if you read down the contents there is some raspberries in there as well just if any of you speak French or translate if anyone's interested just pause for a moment but it is hot or cold water I do like my breakfasts on the warm side so I'm going to make a mix of both so very impressive portion size there nice looking granules that screws fingers and I am going to use both I'm going to use some hot water first and then because that's boiling I'll give it a little bit of cold just to take that excess heat away and again I've said before I do like my muses a little bit on the moister wetter side there's a lot of dehydrated fruit so they're going to absorb a lot of that moisture with water so I'm just going to give that just a couple of minutes just for them to start absorbing some of that liquid and I think we'll start off with the coffee so dark looking coffee now medium looking granules but now it's made up the coffee's got actually quite dark mmm good quality coffee without the sugar it would be a bitter coffee but it has got good taste good flavor some whitener would make this a really tasty instant coffee nice enjoyable nice enjoyable coffee brand I am enjoying that it's a nice tasty instant coffee take a look at this mango tea so it's nice and see-through nice and clear mm. strange smell it's the mango but it's not a, a fresh mango sort of smell you can feel the ice tonic powders it's got a slightly sliminess to them sometimes these ice tonic powders I think they have a, a sort of slimy texture with the salts and um, this is one of those it's cold it's refreshing personally it's not one of my favorite cold drinks but it is doing you good you can feel you can feel the isotonic powders in there the slight sliminess you know there is a lot of lots going on inside that glass so I'm just gonna just give them a few more minutes I think I'm gonna add a little bit more water I know a lot of people actually enjoy it sort of thick lumpy I just like mine as I keep saying give it a few more minutes and I think while we do that we'll take a look at these biscuits so these are the chocolate or the sweet biscuits a little bit of battle damage in this case gone a little bit soft which is just about on its expiry date but it's the very plain simplistic biscuit little chocolate chips in there 
not very tasteful with chocolate, not very sweet, just a very simple, basic background sort of flavour. Can't really tell that's a chocolate. Let's try a little bit. There's a Dunkin' Biscuit and the coffee. Okay. Doesn't really add to the flavour. A basic sort of biscuit, lacking in any chocolate. Let's try a little bit of this jam on there. A nice strawberry jam. Good blob on the biscuit there. Mm. It's a nice way to have the jam. Good quality jam. Good strawberry flavour. Lots of sugar. Lots of sweetness. Um, certainly taste the fruit. It's not artificial. It is a, a natural jam made with fruit and sugars. Not a lot of uh, colourings. Nice jam. Goes well on the biscuit. I think we'll just give that a few more minutes just to really soften. So we'll have a look at the sugar coated apricot bar. Just a jelly bar. Quite soft, easy to tear. Lots of sugar frosting on the outside. Easy to chew, nice soft texture, a little bit like crystalline fruits. In the UK you get fruits which have been sugarized, crystalline, very very similar. We sell, they sell them in boxes. Nice, sweet, little apricot background flavour, artificial apricot obviously. But it is a sweet, chewy, little bit of energy bar. Mm -mm -mm. We can go for the coffee. Nice coffee. Certainly would enjoy that with a creamer. Now, the muesli. It's basic muesli with fruit. It's all started to absorb that moisture now. Mm. The fruit has a bit of tartness to it. It tastes like fresh fruit, you can taste the strawberries. With the addition of the hot water, the grains have gone soft, they're not sticking in between your teeth. It's a nice, soft, comforting filling. Usually, so the grains, lots of fruit, there's a lot of fruit going on in there. Quite sweet. I'm going to just add a little bit of the jam doesn't need it it's sweet enough but I am just because it's there so if it's there you just have to try so a little bit of the jam in the muesli mm. same flavor as the muesli itself strawberry so it did nothing to the flavor but it whacks up the uh, sugar content it's a lot sweeter now it's giving it a lot more sweetness as it's mixed in. Mm. Nice, sweet, comforting, large portion, very filling, slow release energy, oats, always good. Poor morning, pick me up. So, overall, very interesting, very enjoyable breakfast. Not such a fan on the mango tea. There is nothing wrong with that, it's just a flavour I don't particularly enjoy. Um, it is refreshing, you can feel those electrolytes. You know it's doing you good, it's just a flavour that I personally don't enjoy. Overall, very nice, very tasty, very filling, enjoyable breakfast. So join me for my next video where I take a look at all of the lunch and dinner components. But for now, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon. So thank you and goodbye.